I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. What are you doing with that knife? It's meant for you. Me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry. She's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. Sylvie! Ah! Cotter! Oh, I can't bear it anymore! Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. This wasn't supposed to happen. I always thought he'd be here, fighting by my side. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forrester proud. I know you'll do what's necessary. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors? They're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Gareth. I can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Gareth. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. Let us use his blood to give us strength. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Cotter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it. Vice and air.
We must burn the body. Too many fucking guards. Keep your heads down. We'll have to find a way to distract them. More guards. Places crawling with them. Horses hate being tethered during a battle. If we can just get them loose. That must be Lord's tent. Of course, he'd take the biggest one for himself. That tower gives a great view over their camp. Enough thinking. Where do you want us? See that lookout tower? It was built in a hurry, probably from light, dry wood. Burn it to the ground. Consider it a pile of ash. Meet here once you've done your part. Good luck, Basilisk. Try not to get yourself dead, Westerosi. Can we rely on them? You can trust them to fight. Beyond that... Come on, let's get this done. Secure the forester boy. Make sure the little shit can't escape. We can't run if he doesn't have legs. Do what you must. And if anything happens to me, kill him. Yes, father. Bring me my great sword. Fuck. What do we do? I want to make him bleed. We'll follow them. They'll lead us to Ryan. But, lad... Bring my brother is more important. Fine. But before this is over, I am killing that man. I'll take Griff and his men head on. Sneak behind. Grab Ryan. Get him the hell out of here. Let me go! My brother will kill you all! Oh, God, hold him down, will ya? Be careful, Roderick. I swore to Asher I'd keep you alive. I'll do my best. Roderick Forrester. I thought I'd have to tear down your walls to get your head. But here you are, making a gift of it. Oh, yes! I'm starting a collection. Shit! 
fucking foresters! Go your way, don't you, Roderick? Your origin makes you sloppy. Where's the basilisk? Last I saw, she escaped with my brother while I was taking care of Griff. He's dead? Good. I thought Beska would be here with Ryan. Beska will have to take care of herself. To Ironrath! <laughs> 